Welcome back. And now we're going to continue to talk about the definition of export and import. Let's find and define them. Okay. What exactly are exports? Simply put, exports are goods or services produced in one country and sold to buyer in another. This is how countries spread their products around the globe, reaching markets beyond their own borders. For instance, consider Nigerian cocoa beans, which are highly prized on the international market. When these cocoa beans are sold to manufacturers in Belgium to make chocolate, they are being exported from Nigeria. This not only brings in foreign currency to Nigeria, but also expands the market. Exporting isn't just packing up goods and shipping them away. It involves strategic planning and understanding market demands. We're going to, that. We're going to talk about more in details. It's about finding a balance between what our country can produce and what the world needs making sure we are not just participating or participant, but competitive players on the global stage. This is very important, but we put that at the back of our mind. We need to look at what people need. We need to look at what other countries need from us. That will help us to package of goods and services as well, and export them to those countries in need, or else when you send something to a country that don't need it, country that doesn't need it, you may end up making losses. That's what we're trying to avoid. Uh, that's a simple definition of, of export. Switching gears, let's talk about imports. Imports of goods and services brought into a country from abroad. These are products that are either aren't available domestically or can be sourced cheaper or better quality from other countries. Now, the question is, why do we import? Now, let's take a practical example. Nigeria imports a lot of heavy machinery and electronics, which are essential for our industries, but are not manufactured locally. By importing these items, we can advance our own economy. However, reliance on import must be balanced as it can affect local industries and economic independence. Imports are crucial for providing consumers with a variety of choices and keeping markets competitive. They push our local industries to innovate and improve, which is essential for economic growth. But remember, too much dependence on imports can lead to trade deficits. Where a country, buys, a country buys more than it sells internationally, which is something we aim to manage effectively. The whole subject circle around the GDP we define the GDP as a total value of goods and services produced within a country. So it has the formula called C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Our whole topic is about the X minus M, which is export minus import. Okay, export minus import. When a country imports heavily, it means there will be leakages in the export minus import, and the economy will contract. When an economy exports a lot, then there will be an increase in GDP, and the economy will expand. So that's what we're talking about, and that's why this is very important. This is the definition of export and import. When we come back, we're going to continue with the rest of the
for the lesson, inshallah. Thank you.